You see them, they're, they're having communication there. The stakes are high, so are the tensions. Two Thai teams and two former badminton partners meeting for the first time as rivals. Maybe things didn't end on the best of terms for those two. Boda Nasara and Mani Panjongjit played together at the London Olympics, but on Sunday the two competed against each other in Richmond at the final of the Canada Open. These two are the former players and they're having a little bit of a discussion here. Bowden and Matty Pond they traded verbal jibes. So, uh, they were warned twice to cool their tempers. No, they're going to get told off here. Behave. One of Canada's oh, top players, Luke Couture, was at the tournament and saw the drama unfold. It, it was just complete shock because, uh, you know, in, in badminton there's, there's a lot of ego, a lot of testosterone going on, but, uh, and it's come close to this point many times before, but I've never seen something go so over the top like this. Oh. Oh, and now there's a scrap as Bowden. Look at this, a chair goes flying. They come right in front of the broadcast location. And no one's breaking these two up. Richmond police were called to the scene, but tournament staff had already broken up the fight. Nobody was charged, but one player needed stitches to his ear. Now the Badminton World Federation is investigating. They have a system called, they give black cards to when you disqualify someone, and, and that's been in place for about 13 years now. And they've only issued three black cards, and the other two were for uh, an athlete swearing at an umpire and you know a, an athlete getting into an, uh, a verbal shouting match with the opponent's coach. So this is... Uh, totally out of the, what we've ever seen of a badminton tournament. Video of the tournament has gone viral. Canada's former Olympians say they hope the match doesn't set a bad precedent. In my experience, they should look at the, review the, the video evidence and decide whether there should be a, a ban for a certain amount of time or, or potentially a lifetime ban. I mean, I don't think we can allow for any kind of, of violence like this in our sport and it should just be a no tolerance policy if you ask me. Both teams were disqualified from the final. Tanya Beja, Global News.